hello guys welcome back to the candy crush game in the last video tutorial we have already implemented the check row for three condition in our game and in this video tutorial we are going to check in a column that is checking vertically as you can see so let's start first of all start in our studio and here we will first add a drawable as uh, image so first we have to copy this image and now we have already copied this and now we have to just paste it you can find the description a link for this now I am going to the activity main and here we will first add a background for this that just we have pasted here in drawable folder that is garden and now we have to remove this back background just remove this and now you can see the background for the garden that will be background for the candy crush game our app and also we are going to add a linear layout of uh, width and height width of match parent and height of some dps and orientation will be horizontal because we want score to show here at the top we will show a score and let's say give some background color with some opacity and close this you can change this background color what you want just let's say change it to something that is also visible now I'm going to give some padding of 20 dp and then ID let's say lin lay for linear layout and uh, gravity will be center margin start let's say 20 dp and margin end also 20 dp now the background color is showing perfectly margin end of 20 dp and also margin top of 20 dp now this linear load is visible you can see this and now we will create text view for score and uh, score result layout width and height of wrap content and uh, let's say text score and dash and space this will concatenate score result that we will update when we will match the candies text size some sps and uh, text color color will be white and just close this and now we have to create a text view for our score so let's write some dummy text here and uh, you can see the score and also we have to give an id for this let's say score and now we have to connect this text view from main activity dot java class so text view we are going to create instance of text view score result and now we will have to connect this score result through our id that we have given to the activity main text view that is r dot id dot score and now we have to create a method that is called check column for three for three columns three candies in a column so we are going to name it as check column for three and now we have to change some codes here and for this first I am going to check here in our app that is game you can see this is of 8 by 8 rows and 8 columns and we have to go to the 63 index and for this we have to first run this loop up to 46 index 
and then we will increment the value of x in if condition and now we are going to delete integers and list also this if condition and then this is same for this now we have to check in if condition x and then x plus number of blocks and also x plus 2 into number of blocks for checking the index of candies in a column that's why we are going to increase this from number of blocks that is from 8 units now I am going to increment the index position by 8 so adding the number of blocks for setting the image resource of that candy by not candy in a column now the not candy will be set and now we have to call this method check column for 3 in our try block of runnable and now we will run our app to see how it is working so the greater build is running now now it is installing launched and you can see when it is started the three candies in row and column already matched up and that's why it is set to not candy and you can match any of the candies in row and column that's it for the tutorial thank you for watching in the next part we will move down our candy